Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. So I'm still using the Astro Matrix Tarot, and I have allowed for reversals. This one is for Wednesday, August 7th. Let's see, what is it that you all need to know? What would be the most helpful for today? Wednesday, August 7th. There we go. There. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. The star card upright, thank goodness. And then we also have the Six of Cups reversed. Huh, that's interesting. What an interesting combination. Okay, well let's let's start with the the star because it's the theme for the day. The center card is always the th the theme for me when I do three cards. I so the star card is our it's the card of believing in ourselves. It's our it's a card of hope, but then also faith because you hold on to the hope and you're always working within what do you believe in what is the what really inspires you what what has life taught you that you can truly believe in what has your spirit most of all taught you that you can truly believe in and you can see she's channeling spiritual energies and also giving of of everything that she has trusting her intuition and giving from that that flow it's like she's really grounded in that flow. I love that. But traditionally, it's a card of inspiration, and I'm being very peaceful and serene. Uh, and it's sometimes a card of renewal, like really truly being renewed by your spirit. So if you're having any physical troubles, you know, because we do have the Queen of Pentacles coming through reversed, if you're having any troubles like that, um, it's important to remember, like especially, well, maybe you've been working too hard because she can be an imbalance between work and, and family life. Uh, it's possible. And, and then sometimes, too, it can be having way too many commitments going on. And you're doing your best to believe in yourself and believe in the universe, but maybe you're realizing that you've been overworking because of a false belief that you got from your childhood. Now also, it could be trying to do your darndest to stay in connection with the universal flows while you're taking care of uh, someone in your life who's maybe having memory issues, no matter how old they are. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's, it begins early. Um, but it, it could be an older woman too. But the Six of Cups coming through reversed is usually my card for memory problems. But then sometimes too, it's really just, when it comes through reverse, it's just that we're stuck in the past. And it's a little naive and unrealistic because it's coming from child consciousness. And there's a, there's a need to grow up with both of these cards when they're reversed. So trust that you have that, that flow inside of you to get out of child consciousness. Uh, but when I say child consciousness, I'm not, I'm not putting children down in any way at all because the, it's our inner child that is so creative within us. But when it comes, when this card comes through reverse, there's, um, there's well, maybe the loss of innocence even. Maybe it's something about that. But no matter what it, it is, the main message today is to believe in yourself, to allow yourself to be inspired, to always ask your guides and your guardian angels and your, you know, your, especially your, your spiritual healing, um, you know, massive amount of guides that you have to help you heal no matter what. And, you know, I always do this at night is I always ask to, you know, to heal my body while I'm sleeping especially if I've been, uh, you know, doing a little too much around the house or the yard, that kind of a thing. Uh, but healing is always good to ask for while you're sleeping. And, and it is good to have, you know, to um, remember that, you know, you, you have to invite them. You might could just put out a blanket, like, heal me anytime I need it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you always have my permission, you know, to your guides. You could do that. Uh, but there's something about healing childhood uh, wounding here. 
maybe some childhood trauma that and maybe you had a mother who was judgmental because the queen of pentacles reversed can be kind of rigid and maybe she was just all about the money and she wounded you in a way that made you not believe in yourself because maybe you were so extremely connected to the universe like like we all are when we're little and if we don't believe in ourselves it's because we weren't encouraged and it's because we uh, met with some coldness coldness and some harshness so she could be a mom or a teacher or a grandmother or a, ver a much older sister and and you know someone that took care of you when you were little and now you have to work your way out of that bag because that bag isn't right <laughs> that bag is baggage let's dump the baggage okay all right you guys let me know how you're doing take good care